I'll gloss over um, allegations of responsibility and talk about a continuing staffing crisis in the NHS and a lack of care um, of beds for years. So f- vacancies running to 40 to 45,000 in England, thousands of specialist nurses set to retire. Um, and then, of course, the 100,000 plus vacancies across the health service in general. So the idea that we are potentially as winter comes on the brink of a particularly treacherous precipice is is increasingly hard to ignore. And, and I guess that's why today I felt this need just to talk about things that are happening and things that are real, as opposed to my tendency sometimes to, to overthink it and look for, you know, clever clogs, philosophical, psychological and that. I mean, this is just a little bit scary. Um, and of course, the question of whether you should or should not be scared is is key. Most of the evidence I'm seeing is that we are indeed teetering upon the brink of a particularly tricky period. And I, I do think it's better to be clear-eyed about these things. But if you want to challenge the direction of traffic, pardon the pun, and, and from within the NHS working there now and and say, actually, things are not that bad, then obviously today... Well, we'll roll out a red carpet and you can come and sit on a golden throne in my studio because I don't think I've had even the vaguest suggestion that that things aren't quite as bad as our contributors are suggesting yet, either by text, by tweet or on the phones.